can tell I was a little surprised. Um, first of all, thank you so much, Mr. Chair, for recognizing me, and thank you so much for pulling together this hearing. Um, I want to go over a few things. Some of the things were actually just brought up by my colleague. I was surprised to hear that 90% was the percentage of overpayments, um, which leaves 10%, if I'm good at my math, potentially that would be the realm for fraud. Um, go ahead. I would just say that the it, improper payments includes underpayments. So the 10% could also include underpayments. Oh, but, oh, okay. Yeah. I, oh, got what you're saying. So we're saying that there's potentially Okay, so my question is this. If we had to tie down, and if you don't know the answer, that's fine, because literally I'm just going here because I just was surprised by the number. If I had to tie down how much money we're losing specifically as it relates to fraud, do we have a number for that? So we did an estimate okay. of um, losses related to fraud based on 2018 to 2022 data. Okay. And we estimate that the range is between uh, 233 and 521 billion dollars annually. Okay. And my next question is because I don't have this information, so if you don't, that's okay as well. As it relates to recommendations around technology, there have been a lot of conversations around basically upgrading, doing something different, basically moving us forward instead of kind of sticking to um, the old way. Do we have estimates or proposals or requests that have been made by any agency as it relates to what it would cost us to go ahead and put in um, the technology that would be most helpful? I am not aware of an estimate. Yeah, I, I'm not aware of an estimate, and I think one of the pro challenges, Congresswoman, is what you and others have talked about here, which is agencies aren't incentivized necessarily to come forward with that number um, and, to, and to focus on fixing this problem, which is why I think this hearing's been so valuable. Okay, well, I'm gonna say this right now. Um, I'm charging all of y'all. <laughs> to go and get me some numbers. Because at the end of the day, the American people are relying upon us, especially those of us that sit on oversight, to actually be watchdogs over their tax dollars. And so I really hate to leave a situation where we've had lots of good, feel good conversations and we have no solutions. And so most technology costs money. For instance, we've had um, oversight hearings as it relates to uh, issues with the Department of Defense who cannot pass their audits and at least we're getting estimates on what the cost would be. I at least would like to say that we have had that information before us because none of us, and I'm maybe being presumptuous, sitting up here have the expertise to know what it is that you need to make sure that these agencies are going to be able to better do their jobs. And the reason that I asked for the numbers is because I could guess, this is just a guesstimate, that whatever the technology cost, it is less than 233 to $521 billion a year. That's just my guess, but I could be wrong. And I am here to provide some sort of solutions. In addition to that, um, you know, I appreciate this hearing because number one, we're acknowledging that there's a problem. Um, that's a good start for us specifically here in Congress um, to agree on that. But, um, one of the issues that I have is kind of this blind eye that we sometimes turn because uh, as we are in election season and there's definitely a candidate that said that he's just gonna get rid of fraud in his first six months. Um, you know, I, I don't know what kind of uh, wizardry he has going on to be able to snap his fingers and get rid of anything in six months. Um, but I would like real solutions um, because the talking is not getting us anywhere. It's my understanding that if we go back a few years, back to 2013, I believe the number was, the number as it relates to this particular conversation was down at 35 billion. Yeah, back in 2003. The number was 35 billion and now we are truly just going through the roof. And again, as we are hearing the conversations around how the American people are struggling, 
we need to do something better about the monies that we are getting in so that we can then move on to help people that need help, such as those that are relying on SNAP benefits and things like that. So I appreciate any assistance that, that y'all can provide and maybe the next proposed budgets. Y'all can put in something for technology upgrades to help and assist all agencies that need the help and assistance to make sure that we can start to rein this in. Thank you so much, and I yield.